Oh, shit. Oh, that was rough. Oh, that hurt. Oh. 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 It is Tuesday. Just finished my noon boot camp class. It was a killer workout. I'll probably post a couple clips, a little description of what we did, and uh, that was something in the mail. But before I get to this, I know what it is. I want to share it with you. Uh, yesterday, I just did some mobilization, some self-care, and my intention, my plan now, is every day just give you a little insight about what my training is, my nutrition, and uh, you know, just share a little bit more aside from just the running. So let's get to what this bad boy is here. So. Here it is, check it out, Ultimate Direction. So this is the uh, signature mountain vest. Not sure if you can see that, cool. So this is the Mountain Vest 5.0 from Ultimate Direction. I've been really shopping around for uh, something to take on my longer runs. I've got a Nathan fanny pack type things. Only carries about 400 milliliters of water and like a little fanny pack for some equipment, gels, something like that. And with my longer runs, doing videos, I kind of needed something a little bit more and for some things I've got planned for next year. It comes with a couple of flasks for hydration to go in the front, lots and lots of storage and uh, very adjustable. I was looking for something that was really lightweight and cool. This one uh, got nothing but great reviews and very adjustable, super lightweight, and uh, it's very breathable. So I'm confident uh, that this will do everything I need for it to do and then some. to do a lap. I did this loop uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it took me a lot longer maybe than I thought. Today the plan is to go out feeling pretty good. Legs a little uh, tired, a little sore, not going to lie, from yesterday's workout. Uh, but we're going to see if we can improve our time. <laughs> testing out the new Ultimate Direction Vest, Mountain 5.0 Vest. Let's give it a go. Thank you. 
So far, so good. Feeling good. Not even warmed up yet, really. The vest seems to be riding real well. So far, so good with that as well. Technical error with number one. Hit the pause button when I stopped to do a little adjustment. It's probably half a mile ago, three quarters, I don't know. Forgot to the restart, resume button. We're just out here for fun. Let's get back to it. Here we are, 71st Street entrance and the parking lot, north side of Eagle Creek Park. holistic coaching moment. I think it's super important when you're doing your sessions that you take a moment for thanks and gratitude that this is something bigger than just getting in shape, trying to set a PR, going faster, that having a sense of thanks and gratitude that your body, while it may not perform and look the way your ego mind wants it to or thinks it should be, that you have the ability to do what you can do, that you can even be up, moving, that you're still above ground and breathing. That means we still have time to practice for spiritual development and also having thanks and gratitude for the environment, whether you're living in the city, that's where you train, if you have access to nature, maybe you live in a beautiful mountainous area or near the ocean. And then finally, I like to give thanks and gratitude to those that make it possible for me to do this. My family that supports me, my job allows me to do this sort of thing and to share it with all of you. So just a little holistic coaching moment for you there. Let's finish up this run. Oh, that was rough. Oh, that hurt. Oh. Oh. Okay. That last half mile, I pushed it, ran the, the uphills harder. Oh. Oh. oh, Lord. Why do we do this? Why do we do this to ourselves? Oh, it's amazing. Beautiful stuff, guys. Whew. Hope you're getting after it. I'm back to the parking lot. So it's time for me to sign off here, head home, get some lunch, get some work done, make some dinner for the fam, and keep living holistic, guys. Just got back and checked the mail, and I got something here. I have no idea what it is. It's from the virtual running club. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Check it out. <laughs> That's from the uh, inaugural Coast Guard half marathon that I did, gosh, back in March. Um, check it out. We got the 
Jayhawk Hilo on there. The tail rotor even turns on it. Um, yeah, it was the very first, so I had to sign up for it. I actually did it as a ruck uh, with a 30 pound ruck and did my 13.1 with that and kind of forgot all about it. Pretty groovy first metal I've gotten in a while. Oh, check it out. We even got the rescue swimmer that slides up and down out of the helo. I might just sit around and play with this like a little kid with a new toy. Mm -hmm. 